Yo, what is up, YouTube? This is Pure Kicks back again with another performance review. And for those who have not read the title just yet, today we are taking a look at the Adidas Pro Bounce 2019. <laughs> High and low. Let's get it. Forget to like, comment, and subscribe as you guys always do. Like this video, show your support. Comment down below your thoughts. Did you go with the high ones? Did you go with the low ones? Did you just not go with the shoe at all? We love to know. And of course, hit that subscribe button and the bell next to it to get notified every time we drop a new video. Let's get it. I like that. <laughs> Adidas Pro Bounce 2019. Now, if you know, the Pro Bounce 2018 was the pure kicks shoe of the year. We fast forward one year, and now we have the Pro Bounce 2019, and this shoe looks oh so clean. Clean! Colorways. Fantastic stuff. Whether it's high or low, the shoe looks clean, in fact. It looks so good and so clean, in fact, to me, mm -hmm. that we are deciding to give a pair away. It's giveaway season. It's giveaway season. Yes, again. You know how it goes. We're giving away a pair of Adidas Pro Bounce 2019 to one of you guys, our lovely subscribers. Yes. Because you guys are awesome. Yeah, we appreciate you. And we just show you how much we appreciate you. Yes. So we're giving away a pair. How do you do it? It's very simple. Same as always. Like this video. Comment down below in this video your size, UK. Your UK size. UK size, so we don't get confused. Or put the US, I guess, if you need to. Make sure you make it clear which size that is. And of course, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Simple. It's an international thing, by the way. Simple. We ship to all over the world, all over the globe. Where do you want it? So, enter the giveaway. It's Simple. a free pair of ProBot 319s. Are you joking? As you guys can see, we are extremely excited about this giveaway. So excited, in fact, that we uh, forgot to inform you guys when we'll be contacting the winner. November the 2nd. 2nd of November, 2019. Okay? Write that one down in your calendars. Safe. So without further ado, let's get straight into this performance review. So starting off, oh wait, hold on. Yeah. What do you guys want first? Do you want the good news or do you want the bad news? I'm guessing they're gonna want the good news. Yeah, I think they want the good news first. It's cushioning. <sighs> it's bounce. It's a great time. It's back. It's back. And it's fine tuned once again. Once again, it did the absolute thing. We knew it was going to. Yeah. So far, ProBats hasn't missed. It, it really hasn't. It's, it's been it, in it's a few shoes. Really. And it really hasn't missed. No. And this shoe is no exception. We've got response. We've got cushioning. We've got comfort. We've got court feel. Court feel we've got bro. impact upon impact. I went to say protection, protection. upon impact. Right. I know what I'm trying to say, but I'm, I'm frazzled right now because it's is good. We hear you, bro. So, there you have it. There you have it. Giving it a score? It's a 9 out of 10. Say no. It's a 9 out of 10 team for sure. It's not missed. It's just not missed. Next up with the great news, yep, we have the traction. We have the racetrack herringbone traction pattern, bro. That's it. Herringbone, as we know, just like Bounce, has never missed. That's Always it. gets the job done. That's and this shoe definitely follows suit. The traction is really good. Strong. We tried on the multiple different courts. Yep. On some courts, it did collect a little bit of dust. On the dusty ones only. On the very, very dusty yeah, ones, which is expected with some with some herringbone. We've yep. experienced that before. Yep. But after a couple of wipes, it, you don't have to wipe that regularly. You're good to go. Of Facts. course, super clean courts, you're also very, very good. Facts. We also like the fact that both these models, the low and the high, both have solid rubber. Yeah. So outdoors, you're also good to go. Love that. Love that. Now, one thing I actually love about the traction is that it's split into three different segments. Yes. Now, in the hill, you put this kind of racetrack pattern, mm -hmm. which helps with the hill strikes, hill drives, and kind of stopping on the dime, yep. which is accompanied by the herringbone and the forefoot for, again, stopping straight away. And then a, a different type of herringbone is the lateral side for those lateral movements, defensive slide, jab steps. And you kind of really feel it every which way. Yep. You've got different traction patterns take care of different things, and they all did their job. 100%. What can you say? All of that, it's an 8 out of 10. Definitely. Why not a 9 or a 10 out of 10? It's all from that mild dust collection that we experienced. I think that comes from the grooves and how they're separated and a bit of slippage here and there if you don't wipe. But apart from that, 8 out of 10 it is. <sighs> okay. They're not so great news. How do we break it? I think we just gotta tell them. Just gotta say it, yeah. I, yeah, we can't shoot the coat, bro. 
Moving on to the not so great news. Yeah. It all stems from the materials. Unfortunately. Really where it starts, isn't it? Okay. Now, we want to mention that the materials are breathable. Yes. And they are flexible. Indeed. They may be too flexible. Ooh. Especially in the toe area, we have this oval mesh construction and it feels very different to what we've usually experienced. It's like a really thick textile. It's a textile mesh. There's an overlay and there's like another part underneath it as well. The biggest issue came from the toe area. Facts. Now one, we have this synthetic overlay, which quite frankly is a little bit too tight. A little bit. Tell him to me. It pinched. Yeah, it was well. there. Now, like, you know what it is? I know what they were going for. Yeah. It's a lockdown thing, obviously. We're talking lockdown in the midst, but yada, yada, yada. But they overdid it. Yeah. It low-key hurt. It was there on top of your foot. It may be the most sensitive place. It was tough. And then what makes it a bit even more peak is that that's accompanied with this textile mesh across the entire toe, which is just way too soft. Too so soft. my toes are wiggling like this. It's soft. They're trapped. So much room. My foot is trapped and my toes are wiggling. This is what my toes are doing in the shoe. You know where flip flops are for? It's like a flip flop. Like slides. Slides. That's not what I want in my kicks. I, I can't deal with that. It's locked down here, but my toes are living life here. Yeah. It's just a bit much. It was just a weird dynamic. And it really threw off the, the, the experience for me. more experience, yeah. Mad. Now, obviously, we're talking from reviewer's standpoint. That's right. So when we review shoes, we really make sure that we're conscious of the things that we're looking into. Yeah. Obviously, if you're playing and you're just hooping and you're competing, you don't notice it. Mm -hmm. But when you really think about it, you do feel it. Yeah. And yeah. It, can, it can end up getting in the way. We all know the last thing the hooper needs is distractions. And I'll definitely say I think what we have here is a little bit of a distraction. Yeah. So it's just a matter of trying to say as focused as you can, but this part of the shoe, this only part of the shoe, doesn't help. Yeah. I'm sorry, it just doesn't. And of course the shoe does break in over time and then you do does. get used to it. And that is why we have given the materials a six out of ten. Yeah. It's just not great, is it? It's just not great. But it's just honesty. We've got to be honest. Moving on and to a little light note. Yeah. It's time for the fit. The fit felt fantastic. It did. It was a good shoe. It was above average. We're talking a true to size shoe. The materials did come in outside from the toe box. They felt really nice around the foot. It felt really snug. And then you get these Achilles pods in the high version and some padding around the low version as well, yeah. which did feel really good around the heel area. I did enjoy it. Yeah. I, felt, I thought it fit really, really well. Had no problem placing them up. It felt awesome. I'm messing with them. Yeah. I'm messing with them. So with that note, it's a seven out of 10, above average. 100%. Lastly, talking about support, we have our usual suspects. Indeed. We have our internal TPU heel counter, which is actually sitting on top of an external heel clip. Ooh. We have the overall fit and lockdown of the shoe, which was let down a little bit by the materials, but you, can, but you still feel pretty decently locked down. That's right. And we have our lateral support, which comes from the outrigger of the shoe, of course, and also this lateral barrier, which comes from the midsole being raised up a little bit as well. Now, the support is seven out of 10. That's right. Let's get that out of the way quickly, yeah? The reason why the support isn't any higher, now for me, this is because I feel like support is mostly mental. And because the materials weren't that great, I didn't feel that support, oh, even that. though the shoe is supported. Yeah, yeah. I just yeah, didn't yeah. feel support, which is why the shoe gets a seven. I think for me as well, we reeled off all those good things. Yeah. Because the shoe does have all the supported things you need, especially yeah. when we're talking the high version as well, along with those Achilles pods I mentioned in the fit. It's just they all didn't bang. Yeah. Because they have them all, they all just didn't do the epic job that we've kind of known some shoes to do. Yeah. And that's really where the score comes from as well. So it is a supportive shoe, just not the most supportive. Hence why it's above average. So that's everything. Looking at the scores, the Adidas Pro Bowl 2019 comes out at an above average 7.4. Good score. It's a good score. Yeah. Let's be honest, they had some big shoes to fill. You did. We're not talking any regular shoe, we're talking shoe of the year 2018. And the Pro Bowl 2019 came out above average. Yeah. So it's still a good shoe, just some things to work on for sure. Yeah. I would definitely potentially still put it in a rotation. Yeah. Maybe not my rotation, but it could make it into a it rotation. It could make it a rotation. Into a rotation. You know what it is? It's like being a dad, right? Okay, yeah. And your eldest son. That's right. Is an NBA superstar talent. It gets like that. However, your youngest son couldn't even make his high school basketball team 
and he's working a regular job. You know now, what it is though? You're not disappointed with your, with your youngest son. Yeah. He's still your son and you love him. And he's grown up to it's be true. a successful yes. Yes. regular person. Yeah. However, Society. you're a bit spoiled by having an NBA star as your firstborn. But you know what it is? You know what it is? At least your youngest son is trying. He's trying. He tried. There you he go. He took the ball up. He took some shots. They just didn't go in, all of them. He went to every practice session. Went to every practice session. He was there all the time. Extra work, every First day. to get there, last to leave. This is what I'm saying. Just could have knocked down them shots. Yeah. That's it from us. Like I mentioned before, we're giving away a pair of the Adidas Pro Ops 2019s. Not those or these, because they're ours. Nice. But a pair specifically, specifically for one of you guys. So all you gotta do is like this video, like, Comment down below what UK size you are. That's it. Light. That's right. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Simple. Very light. And the shoe could be yours. Oh, it's quite light, in fact. Light. Hello, it's me again. And yep, you guessed it. We also forgot to inform you guys at the end as well. So 2nd of November 2019 is when we'll be in contact with the winner. Okay? So enter the giveaway. Easy. But before you do that, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Like this video, show your support to your boys like you guys always do. Comment down below what your thoughts are on the Pro Brands 2019. Was you rocking with them? Or are you just not rocking with them whatsoever? And of course, hit that subscribe button and the bell next to it to get notified every time we drop a new video. So right guys, there you have it. This is the Adidas Pro Brands 2019. Wear pure kicks. Let's, Let's get giddy, it. Giddy, 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 giddy. <laughs> 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 Come on.